she was first again on, on uh, Archie Bunker's place as his uh, wild cousin. And so it was a triad exactly like the Jeffersons. And my first meeting with her, of course, she had two outfits. Uh, I think a, a pair of blue pants with a matching uh, sleeveless vest. And I think the other one may have been brown. And she had two or three men's shirts that she wore under those with the sleeves rolled up. And one or two pairs of very good Bernardo thong sandals. B. Arthur is not a clothes horse. And her span of attention, I discovered very quickly, was about three and a half minutes for a fitting. So I took the one vest that she wasn't wearing that day, and we made a pattern from it. And that's how the Moan Vest came about. And you could make it in all kinds of lengths. And it allowed for those wonderful expressive shoulders, whether she was facing you or with her back to you, to get a laugh. She could get a laugh with the lift of a shoulder. And I loved making uh, the silk vests sometimes to the floor, you know, that would hang, but they would hang from that shoulder. Um, that's uh, our cutter and fitter, Gunnell Erickson, was a master at standing in the control booth on the monitors and figuring out what had to be done because we could never get B for a fitting after a dress rehearsal or a run through. Boy, that was it. When you were making the costumes for her, um, was it? Uh, did you have to consider her height for uh, what would be on camera or what would? Yes, um, and that's again the vest uh, was a wonderful equalizer um, because she wore flat shoes always, and so and the pantsuit was very 1970s at that time, um, and since. We didn't have time for fittings with her or even uh, because of the, uh, you know, the, the, we were on a roll sometimes with five and six shows a week. Um, I would on Sundays go shopping for fabrics and do a quick sketch if I had time. And um, a lot of times we would simply make something up and it would go on at dress rehearsal and never have to be fitted. You know, it was just, it was a perfect way of, of keeping um, new looks, but... So Maud was more stylish than B. Arthur, essentially. Yes, <laughs> yes. I, I think to this day, B. probably is most comfortable in an old sweater and a pair of jeans. And I like her for it. 